Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how to make your wheel bearings last twice as long. Now in the olden days when I was a young mechanic, wheel bearings were part of maintenance. You would take the cover off, you would take the wheel bearings out, you would re-grease them with wheel bearing grease, then put them all back together again. Now I was going to show you some wheel bearing grease that we used to use, but it's been so long since I had to do one, I couldn't find any in my garage. I know there's some back there somewhere, but it's so old and dried out, it's probably not even good anymore. And if somebody brought me a really old car, I have to go buy a new can of the stuff. Because modern day wheel bearings, most of them are like this hub assembly. The wheel bearing is built inside, you can't take it apart, you have to replace the whole unit, and it's a sealed unit with seals on both sides to keep dirt out. Now in the old days when we had to repack them if you were bad and you didn't and they wore out, you could get a set of front wheel bearings for like $12. They didn't cost much. But with these modern systems, something like the front bearings on the Celica, which isn't that modern, it's 94, they're pressed on. You can't lubricate them, but you need a machine press to take it apart and put it back together again. It's a real expensive job. The newer ones, they're a whole assembly. And some of these assemblies, not only do they cost a small fortune, but on kind of oddball cars like European ones, just replacing them can cost thousands of dollars. So of course, you want to make them last as long as they possibly can. And here's tips on how to do that. Now since they're all sealed units, there's no greasing for you to do. But seals, what do they do? They break down over time. My advice is you want to stay away from both deep water and especially from salt water in the ocean. Driving on the beach by the ocean may seem cool, but you get that sea mist water and it gets inside there, it'll start eating up your bearings. And the next one, as nutty as it sounds, is take care of your tires. If you have the wrong air pressure, don't have enough air, they ride more squashed. That strains the bearings more. The more you strain the bearings, the faster they're going to wear out. Even worn out struts or shocks, making it bounce a lot more, there'll be more damage done from the friction and bumping, and it can wear them out faster. And of course, be careful where you drive. Say you hit curb. Maybe your wife hits curbs all the time. That little bump might not seem like much, but if it knocks the alignment off or slightly bends something, then instead of the wheel bearing sitting right, it's got more pressure on one side or the other, and over time it'll wear out. Over the year I've seen this literally hundreds of times. Customer will come in, I can hear the wheel bearing roaring away. I'll say, well your wheel bearing's bad, just on the one side. I'll say, now has this car ever been wrecked? And they'll say, yeah, last year it got wrecked on that side. The car got wrecked on that side. Obviously, a little bit of damage was done to the suspension. It can take thousands and thousands and thousands of miles to wear out these wheel bearings because they're steel ball bearings and some of the older ones were roller bearings. But if they're off a little bit, you think how many millions of times that thing is spinning while you're driving down the road, eventually that little bit off is going to wear the metal and then the wheel bearings will start making noises. So you see any of those big potholes coming up? Hey, slow down or try to go around them or over them if your car is wider than the pothole. Because every time you hit those potholes that's damaging the suspension, then the wheel bearings can wear out. And conversely, even if you haven't hit anything, if you're going on the highway and your car is starting to get the shakes and your alignment is off, something's going on with anything in the suspension, you want to get that fixed because over time, all that shaking is eventually going to make the wheel bearings wear out faster. Now if your wheel bearings do wear out, here is a tip if you want the new ones to last as long as possible. Get OEM wheel bearings. Do not buy the cheapest ones you can find that are made in China. Over the years, I even tried a long time ago with my customers cars to save money that way and it always bit me in the rear end. And I see more guys, they'll buy the cheap Chinese wheel bearings and then a year, year and a half later, guess what? They start roaring again and they're worn out. And since a lot of modern cars now have ABS sensors built into the hub assembly with the wheel bearing inside, I've seen guys buy the Chinese ones and they either don't have the right sensor or they don't have any sensor at all. And as soon as they bolt it up and start driving along, their ABS light starts flashing at them. And that's because that cheap wheel bearing isn't made right to fit the computer software of your car and it doesn't read the speed right so the computer thinks there's something wrong with the ABS system and it turns the light on. You're going through all the trouble 
taking all the suspension apart to get that hub off use a quality OEM wheel bearing assembly don't go cheap on that now realize most manufacturers don't even make their own wheel bearings they buy them from other companies like the Europeans often use these FAG wheel bearings wheel bearings are kind of interesting because wheel bearings are universal size there's not English there's not metric so I've had in the past where somebody brought me an expensive BMW that when a wheel bearing went out on it I actually bought a Ford OEM wheel bearing because it was the same exact size it cost a ton less than what they wanted at the BMW dealer of course and it worked perfectly fine but that was in the older days when we would take them apart and put new ones in today they're all hub assemblies and a Ford hub assembly isn't going to fit <laughs> on a BMW assembly even if the wheel bearings inside are the same size the hub will be different now another tip to make your wheel bearings last a long time is if you are changing them when you finally put that nut back on that holds the drive shaft to it make sure you use a torque wrench because when you're tightening this nut when you're putting it in you have to have the perfect amount of torque so the wheel bearing isn't either too loose or too tight I see more guys put on wheel bearings and then a few months later the new ones start making noise because they're wearing out because they didn't torque it right torque wrenches are easy to use in this case the numbers are here and you just turn the handle until you're at the right readings 50 foot pounds you go to 50 foot pounds and stop they have a little part here that when it does get to the right torque it makes a loud click then you know it's at the right setting of foot pounds so it's torqued down just right and there's a zillion sources of information for the right torque for the right parts you can use alldata.com you can get a book you can go lots of ways but you want to make sure it's right because if it's torqued too tight it'll overstress the bearing the bearing squeezed in and guess what it's going to wear out faster and conversely if it's too loose that's actually even worse because then it's too loose then the stupid thing is bouncing all over the place and it's going to wear out even faster when it's loose because there's a lot more friction anything that's bouncing around and moving that's going to create heat and friction and that'll wear the bearings out fast plus it'll make an awful lot of noise and drive you crazy now I'll tell you one thing not to do if you want them to last longer I've seen guys where they can hear noise in their wheel bearings and even though they're sealed they'll get a little hypodermic syringe and hook it up to a grease gun and they'll pump grease back in well that's not really a good thing to do and that's for two reasons first if the seal's gone dirt got in there the dirt is still going to stay in there and it's going to still be friction it's still going to wear the bearings out and if they're making noises they're worn already anyway and two wheel bearing grease is a very specialized grease each manufacturer often uses a different type of grease than the other manufacturers and even the same manufacturer over years changes the type of grease they put in the wheel bearing and if you mix two different kinds of wheel bearing grease I've seen that wear them out even faster because they're not compatible you got to have the correct grease and only that type inside a clean environment so don't try to just pump some in past the grease seal not a smart idea because on the modern cars hey when they're worn out if you're getting a hub assembly that has new seals all the parts are new they're pre-greased the grease is all inside and done correctly and all you got to do is bolt the old one off and bolt the new one on and do it with the right torque setting so now you know all about wheel bearings hey your entire car is spinning around on these things one on each wheel and even though they have no actual maintenance in modern cars now you know how to make them last as long as possible and since this is mechanic monday I'm giving away a nice torque wrench they have a chance to win this torque wrench so your wheel bearings will be tightened up correctly just place a clean non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below and a winner will be chosen randomly by computer to get a nice torque wrench so they put things together the right way so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell